So when I was just starting out with my photography, I very quickly realized that I felt almost limited by only using natural light. And I often found that there was a need for me to introduce other light into my photographs. Artificial light felt to me like this infinite abyss of information and knowledge and theory that I needed to learn so that I could use it properly. And it was very difficult for me to pick up all of that information and learn it. And so the idea that I have for this workshop is for us to do a lot of theory, but then for us to do practical as well, so that you can practice everything that I'm saying, because it doesn't help that I just teach you a bunch of stuff and say a bunch of stuff to you, but then you don't have the opportunity to put it into practice. Obviously, one of the things that we'll go through in this workshop will be gear. Um, I'm not gonna spend this workshop telling you how you need to spend all of your money on very expensive lights. I shot most of my photo career on speed lights, and I still use speed lights all the time. We'll also go through a bunch of different triggering systems that you can use for your lights so that you can fire them off camera. You don't always want to have your lights on camera, and we'll talk about taking your lights off camera and how you can trigger those lights off camera. Of course, we'll also go over things like ND filters. ND filters are a very, very, very big part of my workflow, and I use them pretty much every single time I pick up a camera and we'll go over those and why they're so valuable and why they're so powerful as an aid in your photography. Once you understand how your flash works and how to control that light, we will then go into technique so that you can understand exactly how certain light modifiers will affect the light so that you don't set up a light and, and, and don't know what to expect. I remember one of the most awful things was setting up a big softbox next to my subject and having no idea what that light was going to do. And I eventually learned what it was going to do just by doing a ton of photo shoots and that was so frustrating. And I think it's important for us to go through different kinds of light modifiers so that you can understand exactly what they do and how they affect your photograph. And we can work through things like that. Probably the most significant thing that we can go over in this workshop is balancing ambient light and flash. This is something that most photographers struggle with a lot when they're figuring out how artificial light works. And it's not something that anybody should struggle with. At this workshop, I will teach you how to balance ambient and flash in a matter of seconds. So like I said, this workshop is very much a start to finish flash workshop. You can show up to the workshop not knowing anything about flash and you can walk out there having a far, far, far better understanding about flash. And I wanna teach you all of that stuff. You can sign up at the link below or above or wherever the link is to this thing. You can sign up there. I think this workshop is really valuable. There are a lot of photographers who are natural light only photographers and they have made that choice purely because artificial light is so overwhelming. If that's you, you know that that is the decision that you've made and I want to pull you out of that space. Artificial light is another tool in your toolbox and it will change your photography. I probably light 99% of all of my work artificially and it gives me so much control and I want you to have that control for your photography as well. I would encourage you to consider attending this workshop because having this much control over light has helped me and my photography so much. And it has helped me remove the camera and the lights and everything out of my whole process so that I can just focus on the photos that I'm trying to make. So please sign up below and I hope to see you at the workshop. Oh my gosh, I'm dying of heat, Shan.